Look, we're not our characters, but the... Yeah, yeah, what you... We're not our characters, and Stephanie and I are um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> really, really um, just friends. And, um... Joyride is phenomenal. I laughed the entire time, and it has so much depth and emotion. You all did such a fantastic job. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Sabrina, I love how Deadeye takes the time in the movie to really figure themselves out, and so... What was your favorite part of exploring that journey and bringing your own experience into it for Joyride? You know, from the beginning, I actually felt like when they when they casted me, there was because the Dead Eye is so serious. So I feel crazy saying this, but it there was just a lot of how can we make Dead Eye feel like a really real person and like what is their journey and like how do they relate to people and it was weirdly healing for me actually because I definitely was like you know I I deal with like gender queerness and mm -hmm. was figuring myself out at the same time so there were a lot of parallels to like my life and Dead Eye um, and it was like happening on this meta level and then on top of that I was just like such a I was like classic random kid in middle school and so it was just fun to bring these like real aspects to this character that could easily be sort of watered down as like just so like oh funny joke person um and it was it was like that the whole time I felt like with the directors and the writers like let's make Dead Eye feel very real and cool yeah. definitely accomplished it I yeah. Dead Eye was hilarious thank you and then Stephanie you've been part of several fantastic films that brought Asian representation to the forefront with Joyride and everything everywhere all at once uh how do you feel about the pace of progress in the industry with that? I feel like I'm living a reality that I never even saw for myself. And I feel really grateful to be one of the many who are slowly breaking down barriers and opening up space for us to get to just be artists and be a part of the cultural conversation in a way that I, I never experienced. So it's pretty surreal, to be honest. Um, <laughs> but I'm really excited to be alive in this lifetime to get to witness it and to be a part of it. And the four of you have such a fantastic chemistry and the dynamic that shifts between your characters is so great. How did you work together to find that dynamic? Look, we're not our characters, but the, yeah, yeah, what you, we're not our characters and Stephanie and I are um, um, really, really um, just friends. And, um, and um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like some part, the thing, there are a lot of parallels between us in real life or the way that we relate to each other, where we are very different people and we have some dysfunction that this group <laughs> that you see in the movie has. They're not, de they were not going to be best friends in high school, but there's this like deep, deep love. Like yeah. we go on this grand adventure the way that we did when we filmed this film. And like, I think that that bled into you know, the characters as we were filming. We have a lot of fun together and we love each other deeply. And it really is there's just this like core four. And it's so lucky. Imagine if we hated each other and had to, you know, promote this movie. But luckily we just have so much fun. And there's, I'm really proud of us for the support and the ways we have found a deeper way to support each other over the last year and a half, even since when we've been filming. And that feels really special. I love it. Seriously. And then what did you want to bring to each of your characters that wasn't necessarily on the page? For me, it was like, it was just a lot of, I was like, I need Deadeye to have like interiority and like wants, like wants friendships or like is really trying to like accomplish something isn't just like there to be random sauce. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sorry. Um, so that was, that was my big thing. And like make, make lonely weird people like feel real as somebody who is um, super... <laughs> and has tons of friends. I mean, I wouldn't get it. But yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like for Kat, you know, how it was written on the page was like, Kat is this like TV star actress. And in my mind, because I had never seen a version of this film before and I only had like Crazy Rich Asians to use as a reference point, I saw her as this really traditionally beautiful, like that trope, right? Mm -hmm. Of like, oh, she just gets to be the pretty one and like then is unfunny, but is just always upset because she's so pretty and this is hard for her. And I think because I just inherently didn't feel like I fit that trope, it felt really important for me that Kat was funny and mm -hmm. found some strangeness and also weird sense of humor within her. Oh, I yeah. like to joke that I feel like I'm the straight man of the film, but. I'm like, <laughs> what are you talking about? It's not a normal thing that comes out of Kat's This life. is true. And like, <laughs> there are people who like would read the Kat lines and be like, yeah, this is like a poised person. But I always think of Kat as like literally like the most annoying theater kid you've ever <laughs> met. Like, 
to someone who is insufferable yeah. and you cannot believe achieved success. Yeah. 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 <laughs> she she loves being an actress. She yeah. is Masha from The Seagull. I am an actress. You know, she's like going home doing that. A hundred percent. She's she's self-taping with with Clarence, her she has fiance. Ther- she has therapy five times a week and yeah. she's read the artist's way a hundred yeah. times. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Well, the movie is fantastic. I can't wait for more people to see it, and I hope there's another one. Yeah. Just great, great job. Thank you so, so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Bye.